When cells in the body don't react appropriately to insulin signals for communication, that condition is known as insulin resistance. As a result, there is a higher chance of getting pre-diabetes and ultimately type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is less likely to develop and blood glucose levels will remain within a healthy range if the pancreas can produce enough insulin to compensate for the low absorption rate. So this video, we will talk about what is insulin resistance? What are its signs and treatments? The video will be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Insulin resistance is the term used to describe when body cells don't react to the hormone insulin as intended. Type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, and prediabetes are all caused by insulin resistance. Although obesity and insulin resistance are closely related, one can have insulin resistance without being overweight or obese. According to current research, insulin resistance can be treated with strategies that decrease the amount of insulin the body produces or consumes through insulin injections or insulin pumps. Causes of insulin resistance and prediabetes. Researchers believe that being overweight and not exercising frequently are the leading causes of insulin resistance and prediabetes, even though there is still much to learn about these conditions. Physical inactivity. Insulin resistance and prediabetes are related to insufficient physical activity. Your body changes due to regular exercise that improves control over blood glucose levels. Excess weight. According to experts, obesity, particularly excess visceral fat, fat around the organs and in the abdomen, is the primary cause of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is associated with waist sizes of at least 40 inches for men and 35 inches for women. This is still true even if your body mass index, BMI, is within the normal range. However, studies have revealed that Asian Americans may be at higher risk for insulin resistance even if their BMI is normal. Previously, scientists believed that fat tissue was only used for storing energy. However, research has revealed that belly fat produces hormones and other chemicals that can fuel chronic or persistent inflammation. Inflammation may affect insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Fatty liver disease may start due to insulin resistance brought on by obesity. Signs Working with your doctor is crucial if you have prediabetes. They will check your hemoglobin A1c, HbA1c, or blood sugar regularly to see if you have diabetes. Traditional diabetes signs include tingling in the feet or hands, feeling more tired than usual, frequent infections, extreme hunger or thirst, even after eating, still feeling hungry, more frequent or increased urination, evidence of high blood sugar levels and blood work. Acanthosis nigricans, a skin condition, can also appear in some people with insulin resistance. It often manifests as dark, velvety patches under the armpits in the groin and on the back of the neck. Some experts think that both directly and indirectly, insulin activates the keratinocyte and fibroblast insulin-like growth factor 1 receptors. This might cause the acanthosis nigricans condition to worsen and spread. This condition has no known cure. However, treatment may assist in returning natural skin color if another condition is the source of these symptoms. Before we continue, please support us by clicking the bell icon and subscribing to receive notifications when we upload new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Treatments Eat a low-carb diet. Reducing carbohydrate intake may also improve your body's ability to process glucose and lessen insulin resistance. Under additional 2016 research, eating three low-carb meals daily can lower post-meal insulin resistance by more than 30%. The maximum amount of carbohydrates consumed by study participants per meal was 30%. A balanced diet with moderate carbohydrates and sugars may improve how your body uses insulin and reverse insulin resistance, though more research is required to confirm these findings. Exercise regularly. Try to get in some physical activity. Experts suggest adding 30 minutes of exercise three times a week to your routine. Even going for a walk a few times a week can help. Start slow if you need to, then work your way up to more activity as you're able. Whether you engage in aerobic exercise, strength training, resistance training, or combine them, you'll increase your insulin sensitivity. Watch your portion sizes. Your pancreas releases differing amounts of insulin depending on what food you eat. However, consuming too much of any food in one sitting can lead to hyperinsulinemia. It isn't a sign of diabetes, but studies link it to type 2 diabetes. Add apple cider vinegar to your diet. A 2010 study suggests that apple cider vinegar may help with high blood sugar. After you consume meals or snacks high in carbs, adding apple cider vinegar afterward could help you prevent high insulin levels. Change your medication with the doctor's supervision. You might have insulin resistance if you take steroid medication to treat pain and inflammation. These medications raise the risk of steroid-induced diabetes, causing the liver to release more glucose. Improved insulin sensitivity may result from lowering your dosage or gradually tapering off of steroids. 
Before changing your medication, consult your doctor. Avoid all forms of sugar. Lower your severity of insulin resistance, prediabetes, or type 2 diabetes by cutting out table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, honey, syrup, and agave. Even alcohol contains sugars that can spike your insulin levels, so if you drink, try to reduce the amount you consume or cut it out altogether. Stay away from refined carbs, which turn into sugar. Refined carbs are also problematic because your body digests and absorbs them too quickly. Consuming whole foods, which take longer for your body to digest, may help lower your insulin levels. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.